Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. And if you are new to my channel, my name is Teresa. In today's video, I'm going to show y'all over 12 projects that I'm going to work on. These are some vintage finds and also some things that I acquired from the thrift store. So I'm going to give you lots of ideas and inspiration of how we can upcycle them and we can style them in our home. I could not resist this beautiful butterfly to be my intro today. She was out enjoying my zinnias and I thought she was absolutely beautiful. So I thought she'd make a great addition to our video. I hope y'all enjoy the video today and get lots of inspiration and ideas for your home. The first item we're going to start with is this wooden jewelry holder. I found this at Goodwill and I paid $3.99 for it. I love the way it's rustic and I'm going to leave it just the way it is. But I'm also going to show you some ideas and inspiration of some ways that we can display it and some things that we can make to put on it. This is a previous video I did a couple of years ago. So I'm going to take y'all back and I'm going to show y'all an easy way to re-upcycle some watches. You just want to take some watches that you may have that no longer work or some that maybe you got at a thrift store or an antique store. You just want to take the back and the insides out of it and you just want to go in and use the, the watch back as a template and you want to go out and use whatever graphics you want. I'm using some family photos. This one is me and my daughter. I just took the photos, I took a picture of them with my camera, and then I resized them down to the size of the watch. You can also go out to the Graphics Fairy. They have a ton of free graphics that you can choose from. So then you just go in, put your photo in, put the back, back on your watch, and then you've got a great little piece that we can display now on the jewelry holder, or of course, we can wear it. This makes a great piece. Now that I've showed you some ideas of things that you can do with old watches, now I'm going to show you how well they style on the, you know, the wood jewelry holder that I got. As soon as I saw this wooden jewelry holder, I thought of those watches I had made, and I thought these would be great to display on it. So most of the pearls in the jewelry you see on this jewelry holder, it's all thrifted or I've purchased it at yard sales. I'm driving, you're smiling, just really I want to give you some more ideas of things that you can do with watches. They make great pieces that we can put on books. So I'm going to do the same thing with this watch. This is a Graphics Fairy uh, Vintage Lady. So go out to the Graphics Fairy and I will put the link to their website down below. But you can get free printables out there and they have a lot to choose from. But you just again resize her and then I'm just going to do her head. And that's what will go into the watch face. But I'm just using a piece of cardboard. That was a cereal box. And you can use Mod Podge. I'm using DIY Liquid Patina. You want to attach her to the back of the cart to the cardboard just to give her a, you know, a sturdy backing. And then I just put her back into my watch. I do not have the band of this watch anymore. But I'm going to show you how you can just add a very simple piece of ribbon to her. And we can put her on some books. But before I display her, I want to show you this really pretty stained glass decorative ball that I got at Goodwill this week and only paid 99 cents for it. I love the colors of this. It is a beautiful piece. So I just wanted to give you more ideas of inspiration of things that you can look for at thrift stores and yard sales and how you can style them in your home. The next piece I'm going to upcycle is going to be this thrifted metal hanger. Now this is a very nice piece. It's got some ornate detail on the front of it, so it'll make a great piece for all seasons. So I just paid $2.99 for it. We took it outside. We spray painted it with our Critter spray painter, and I just used some interior paint that we purchased at Lowe's in, in a gallon. That is more budget friendly for us and we just get the, the critter and we take a bunch of stuff outside and we just go, go to town on spray painting things. 
but then I just added a stencil to it. The stencil is linked to my Amazon store and I just went over that ornate detail with my sanding block and gave it some distressing and then since it's metal, I added a magnet to the back of a little chopstick bow that I had made and just put that on there. Yeah, you make the sky so blue. No, nothing's complicated with you. Hey, playing songs on the radio. Sing along to the words that we don't know how. Brings out the loud. Let's just run away. Yeah, I can drive the horn along. Be with you as that being on the road of your house. Brings out the loud. Just a reminder, y'all, if you aren't already, make sure to go out and follow me on all the social media platforms at Our Green Acres. Now, the next project is going to be one of my favorites. I don't know if you follow my Facebook um, page, Our Green Acres, but if you do, you've already seen this. But this is a one of those little card catalog cabinets. I found it at the thrift store, and I paid $3.99 for it, and you can see it was a beautiful purple. <laughs> so we just took it outside one day, and we painted a lot of things while we had the critter spray painter out, and we just go over it with some, um, some interior paint that we got at Lowe's. And here are some little catalog card holders that I ordered from Amazon. These will be linked to my store, and you get, I think, 10 to a pack. They come also with the little screws. Now we just measured for the center of each one of the little drawers and then we just went in and pre-drilled the, the holes and then we just went in and put one of the little card holders in the center of each one of the drawers. Now my little cabinet only has six drawers so um, but like I told y'all the package from Amazon I think it comes with 10 of these so it was it was they, they were very affordable so I still have some left for other projects but I think this piece turned out so cute but I'm going to give you another idea and inspiration of how we can display it in our home so I had an idea I wanted to make some vintage library cards to display with it so I went out to Etsy and I found a store that had these this whole sheet right here was 99 cents so what you do is you purchase it and then they send it to your email and then you can print this out as many times as you want to but i just cut out a couple of them that i wanted to use and then i'm going to take some of this card stock this is a little pad of some different colored card stock that i bought you know back um I think I got it at Tuesday morning. So all I'm doing is using some Dollar Tree um, glue stick and I'm just going to apply each one of my little library cards to this card stock just to make them thicker. And then I just go around you know, and trim it up. And then we've got some cute little library cards that are vintage looking to display in our little library um, catalog cabinet. And I'm just going to do that same thing to this little card and then I'm going to show you how to make a really cute little slip cover for a vintage book and that was also included on the sheet so I thought the sheet right here had some really good little vintage um, you know little graphics on it now this is a little vintage slip and then in a previous video I showed y'all how to make vintage looking books using coffee and some little Dollar Tree books and I'll link that video at the end of this one and then I'm just going to take these two little little slip covers right here for the books where the library cards would go into. And then I'm just going to glue that one onto the top of that one. And it makes a cute little library slip. So I'm just going to display it now on the top of my vintage book. And we've got a great little little you know little vignette now that we can display in our home and i love the little vintage library cards it just added just the right detail to this little cabinet on the highway it's our way we're 66 and we keep on driving we just do what we want to do hey friendly reminder if you aren't already please go over and follow our green acres on facebook 
like and follow the page and that way we will be connected and you can see daily updates of things that I do in day of a life of a YouTube creator. Okay, the next project that I found at Goodwill was this wine rack, and I think I paid $3.99 for it. But wine racks are great project pieces. They're not only great to display your wine in, but we can put so many other things in it also. The first thing I did was it had these stickers on the side. I peeled those off, and I was able to get them off and not damage them. That way, if I wanted to reuse them, I could. So I didn't really worry about getting all that sticky off. I did go over it with some sandpaper just to smooth it out the best I could because I knew I was going to put something over that, you know, anyway. So while we had the Critter Spray Painter out that day, you can see we're working on several projects. So we spray painted this white and again, this is just some Lowe's interior paint and we went over it with a couple of coats. Now we've got to address the sides and I went back and forth on what I wanted to use, but since the sides are kind of rough now, since I didn't get that sticky stuff off and I decided I did not want to go back with the little wine stickers because I'm not going to put wine in mine. I'm going to display some vintage items in it. So I decided the best thing to do would be to put some transfers on it. I will make sure to link this transfer book down in my description box, but it's an Iron Orchid design transfer book, and it's got a lot of, you know, this is more of a French country theme right here, but that's what I was kind of going for, and I feel like it really worked well with the white of my wine rack. So I'm just, I just cut out two sections that were the size of the sections on the wine rack, and then I just applied those. I go over it with the clear um, backing and just burnish it on and now the sides are done and I think this was a great alternative to those little wine stickers and now I can display several things in this little wine rack so I'm going to give you some you know different kinds of ideas and inspiration of things that you can do with it If you're following me over on Facebook at Our Green Acres, you've probably already seen this piece because I did a little thrift haul the other day, and y'all, I cannot believe I found a vintage potato masher at the thrift store, and it was only 99 cents. I think this is my best find ever, but I've been wanting one, and I'm not going to do anything to this. I'm going to leave it just the way it is, but I thought it is the perfect piece to display now in this wine rack. Another piece that I just recently purchased from Goodwill was this cute little mirror. Now, it was $1.99. As you can see, it's got some little black marks on it. It looks like somebody put some tape on it, but it discolored it. But that's okay because I'm going to use it for a vanity tray, and I'm going to usually have something on top of it so you'll never see those marks. But I'm just going to give you some ideas and inspiration of how you can take a mirror and just use it as a little vanity tray and just give you different ways of how you can style it. And we keep on driving We just do what we wanna do Yeah No, nothing's complicated
before I go into the next project, I want to show y'all a couple of things that I just received. These make great stickers for our projects. I just got these on Amazon, so these will be linked to my Amazon store, but it's this beautiful pack of Vintage Lady postage stamps. Now, these are larger than like a normal postage stamp. You get two designs each. So there's over 60 of these little stamps in the package, and you also get that beautiful postcard. So these are gonna make great um, little pieces that we can add to our projects. And this right here is a gift that I just received from a very sweet viewer. She sent me some appliques, some little lace, crochet doilies, and a whole pile of vintage handkerchiefs. I couldn't believe it. Y'all, to me, these are priceless. But these are absolutely beautiful. So this, what, this is kind of what inspired me to do the next project. So this project is going to be something that hopefully you have already or, you know, sometimes you're like me and you throw these in the trash when they're empty. <laughs> but this is just makeup cosmetic containers. You know, your compacts, everybody has lipstick tubes, cold cream jars, you name it. And a lot of times when I pitch them in the trash, I always think, I wish there was something I could think of, you know, to use these for. Well, let's do this. You can paint them whatever color you want. I spray painted mine. I did some white and I did some cream. And then I'm going to take some of those beautiful stickers. And like you can see, you just pull the back off of it. And then you just apply it to your project. And they don't wrinkle really bad. But if you do have a few little wrinkles, they work out really easy. Now you can embellish your, your cosmetic containers any way you want. There's so many embellishments that you could use, but I'm going to use some of these beautiful appliques. Now this one was a little bit too big, so I'm going to cut those pieces off, and then I'm just going to glue them in different areas so I can still use them. Now these are iron-on appliques, but I'm just going to use some hot glue, and I'm just going to apply them to the top of my compact. Now, these little projects right here, not only are they going to be functional and pretty for us to look at and enjoy on our vanity, but they're also such fun projects. You can get real creative with these. You can add vintage jewelry to these. You know, just take whatever supplies you have and have fun with it. Now, I thought these appliques were absolutely beautiful. They have the, the florals with the pinks and the greens. So, I picked one of the postage stamps that would complement those colors. And I'm going to go with this one. And then I'm just going to apply one of those little appliques right here on the top of this little jar. So I hope y'all have enjoyed seeing all the many ways that we can, you know, recycle a lot of the things that we throw in the trash or, like I say, just pretty up a few things that we use on a daily basis and make it just, you know, where we can set it out and enjoy it more. Now, another idea for those postage stamps, I, I just had fun with them that day, but I got out some of my vintage silverware and I applied one to a spoon and she was so easy to apply and you can see how beautiful that she turned out. Okay, y'all, it is getting toward the end of the video. My time with y'all seems like it goes so fast, but I'm, I'm so appreciative of each and every one of y'all for coming over and watching today's video. And if you didn't see last week's video, I'm gonna put it at the end of this video and also put a link in my description box. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already so we can stay connected. And don't forget to go over and join me over at, on Facebook at Our Green Acres. And you can also join my home decor page where you can post all of your beautiful projects. I love y'all. I hope y'all have a great week. And I plan to see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.